We are now going to calculate the perimeter of compound shapes. A compound shape is when a shape is made up of more than one rectangle. So if you look behind me, I have a compound shape. The first thing you need to do is you need to split the shape into two rectangles. This will help you visualise the parallel lines to help you identify the missing lengths. The first length we need to find from top to bottom. We need to look for clues as to what that length could be. We know that it's parallel to this line here and this line here. If you put them together, they would be exactly the same length as that missing length there. So we need to make an addition here. 3 plus 5 is 8. So this missing length is 8 centimetres in length. Now, this missing length, you need to look at what you already know. The lines parallel to it measure 10 centimetres and 4 centimetres. Now you've already got some of the length which needs to be taken away from the larger number. If that line was brought down, you know that that equals 4 centimetres, but the total line would equal 10, so you need to do a subtraction here. You need to do 10, take away 4, which gives you 6. So now you know that that missing length has got to be 6 centimetres, and you can check this because you know that 6 and 4 is 10. That line, if brought down, would be exactly the same as the line parallel to it. Likewise, with this line, is made up of these two lines. If they were brought closer, you would see that they would measure the same as that. Now what you're going to do is, you're going to disregard this measurement here. You don't want to get that included into your totalling of the perimeter. To find the total perimeter, you now need to make some additions, sums. 4 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 plus 10 plus 8 will give you the total perimeter. So let's try and group these in an efficient way. 6 and 4 is 10. You have another 10. 8 and 3 is 11. And then you just add a 5. So 10, 20, 31 plus the 5 means that the total perimeter of this compound shape is 36 centimetres.